Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 1st through to the 7th. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, laid them all out. See what's going on for Cappies. First up, we have the Six of Swords in the upright position. This card's coming up a lot <laughs> today. Next, we have the Five of Wands in reverse, followed then by the Seven of Wands reversed. And next, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. And lastly, we have the Three of Cups upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Cappy, for your overall energy, you have that of the Six of Pentacles in, or sorry, the Six of Swords in the upright position. This is all about moving on from emotional difficulties. It could be something that's been bothering you for quite some time, maybe for some of you. It's going to be different for all of you. Remember, it's just a general read, but for some of you, you could have been carrying an emotional situation that was very difficult for a very long time. You could have been carrying it for months or even a couple of years, and you're letting go of it now. You're releasing that. You're moving on to more um, emotional calm waters. For others of you, you could be looking at travel, or maybe you're moving. Maybe some of you are moving packing up, moving offices, moving homes. You could be moving across the country or even to another country. You could be physically moving on. Some of you could just be taking a vacation. Maybe you're taking a trip somewhere this week. But you're definitely moving on from the emotional difficulties of the past. It's all over this reading. Um, coming right off the hop, we have the five of wands in the reverse position. Good for you guys. The five of wands in the upright position can point to stiff competition, but for the most part, it usually points to that he said, she said drama, petty stuff going on back and forth. Could be playing out at work, could be playing out in the family, could be playing out uh, in, in a friends group, however it is playing out. It's, it's over and done with now. The five of wands is in the reverse position, indicating we're um, either someone who tried to drag us into the drama is no longer doing so, or if uh, for some of you, it could just be that the drama and work drama or whatever has just come to an end. It's no longer there. The situation's been resolved one way or another, and it's over and done with. And the second card you have up is the Seven of Wands in the reverse position, indicating a letting down of uh, defenses. And um, when the Seven of Wands is upright, this is where we're feeling like we have to protect ourselves, protect our, our reputation, protect our privacy, protect another person. When the card is inverted, however, we're dropping the need to do that. And it could just be because, you know, this whole situation is over. It's done and dusted now. You're moving on from it. And there's no longer a need for you to be so on the defense. Sometimes life will require us to be in the Seven of Wands uh, energy in the upright position because people are around us are sort of throwing stones, kind of metaphorically, of course. <laughs> Hopefully they're not literally throwing stones at you. But this is where we no longer feel that we have to be so, you know, on a defense, just waiting for that other shoe to drop. Perhaps for some of you, things have just settled down. Maybe the energy is changing now from what you've been dealing with in the past. <clears throat> Now, moving on towards the weekend, we have some beautiful energies here. We have the Ten of Cup or Ten of uh, Pentacles, sorry, in the upright position. Ten of Pentacles in the upright, this can represent perhaps uh, extra finances or extra security or extra something coming your way this week, uh, Capricorn. Maybe there's um, an inheritance for some of you. The Ten of Pentacles can sometimes point to inheritance. It can also sometimes point to where, say, someone in the family has just gotten a raise. Uh, it could be a spouse, could be a, uh, an adult child that lives in the home. Maybe they got a job and they are able to actually contribute uh, on the financial front or the material front. Or it could be that you end up getting some material good that's worth a lot of money. Like there's something that's uh, that's a, an upgrade. It could be you yourself maybe getting a, a pay raise or an extra bonus, something that you didn't expect. But it's something that makes like the whole family kind of happy and it could even point to some stability for some of you. Perhaps if you've been lacking stability in the past and now uh, something has changed so you have more stability in the home and everybody's happier with that. 
And now the last card you have up is it's time to celebrate Capricorn. We have the Three of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful coming at the uh, weekend energy. This is about celebration. This could be getting together with co-workers. It could be even a farewell for some of you who could be uh, going on an extended vacation or even moving away. This could be a farewell office party, that kind of thing. Or it could be a celebration of... Um, of anything from a, uh, an engagement to a wedding to some you could be going to a wedding this weekend or you could just be getting together with a group of friends uh, for any type of event it could be anything from a housewarming party to uh, to just a family picnic or get together whatever the occasion is it looks like it's a very pleasant one because the three of cups is in the upright position so I'm going to now pull a Oracle card to give you an additional message here from Spirit. And your card is a miracle. You ready for a miracle? <laughs> Maybe for some of you, uh, this week is going to feel like a miracle come true for you. For others of you, maybe you've been praying and praying for a miracle. Looks like a really good week though, Capricorn. Uh, I hope this resonates for all of you because it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic read. And um, I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.